Today we'll be reading from the New Catholic Picture Bible about the presentation of Jesus in the Temple. The Presentation of Jesus in the Temple It was the law among the Jews that after the first child was born in a family, he should be brought to the temple. God once told the Israelites that the firstborn belonged to him. The parents would offer a sacrifice to God as a sign that they were buying the child back. A rich man would offer a lamb, but a poor man might give a pair of young pigeons for the sacrifice. When Jesus was 40 days old, Mary and Joseph brought him to the temple. And as Joseph the carpenter was not a rich man, they gave for the child as an offering a pair of young pigeons. At that time there lived in Jerusalem a man of God named Simeon. The Lord had spoken to him and had said to him that he would not die until the anointed king had come. The word Christ means anointed. On a certain day the Spirit of the Lord told Simeon to go to the temple. There he saw for the first time the promised Christ. He took the little child Jesus in his arms and thanked God for letting him see the Redeemer. Then he said, Now, O Lord, you may let your servant die in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have sent to all people, a light to give light to all nations, the glory of your people Israel. When Mary and Joseph heard this, they wondered, Simeon gave them a blessing in the name of the Lord, and he said to Mary, This little one shall cause many in Israel to fall and rise again. Many shall speak against him, and sorrow shall pierce your heart like a sword. All of this was to happen later, when Mary would see her son dying on the cross. A very old woman, whose name was Anna, and to whom God spoke as a prophet, also saw through the help of the Holy Spirit, that this little child was Christ the Lord, and she gave thanks to God for this grace. So, early in the life of Jesus, God showed to a few that this little child would become the Savior of his people and the world.